Wait, no, wait, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh no! Damn it, I can't get it to work. Yes, yes, this will work. This will work great, thank you. You're welcome. This is why, this is why I keep you. Not just for the boobs? No, but that's a plus. <laughs> thank you so much for helping me with life. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first actual vlog um, on my own. I've been helping my husband Logan with his for the last few months and um, it's been a lot of fun and I've had a lot of you request that I do my own vlog. So I'm gonna give it a try. I know nothing about editing. I suck at it. So that's probably gonna be the longest, most tedious process of this whole thing. Um, I was originally planning to do my intro to this vlog, like looking hot and like in some sexy clothes, like my hair all done, but that's not how it's happening because I have been out all night at Vamp and I've had a night of it. But I wanted to do something special for this first vlog. So um, a lot of you probably don't know this, but I have been dealing with depression for the last year and a half. Um, I've always had anxiety, like I've always had like a you know, been a big anxiety person. Um, I get it from my father, um, which, you know, bipolar also runs in my family. So I've been dealing with that a little bit as well. But I always consider myself lucky because I didn't have depression. Last year, around the beginning of 2018, I started experiencing it for the first time. And it was really... Oh my God, you guys. Uh, sorry about that. My camera rig just... Right on the floor. Just, yeah. $600 camera, just. I think it's okay though. Yeah, so the last year, um, I have been dealing with depression for the first time in my entire life. Uh, so that was really difficult to deal with and kind of accept that I was dealing with. And um, the beginning of last year, I just started noticing that I had absolutely no drive, no desire, like no passion, no, no really like want to get out of bed or to do any of the things that I, you know, love to do. Like I didn't want to go to work anymore. Like I didn't want to model. Like I just didn't want to do anything. I was, I just wanted to lay around. I was exhausted all the time. So I started dealing with that and kind of trying to figure out how to handle that. And then in July of last year, I lost my fur baby. And, um, you know, he's, he was very much me and Logan's son and losing him in such a tragic and violent way, like I spiraled, like I absolutely spiraled. And this depression that I had had for so long suddenly turned into just nothing, like there was nothing left. And so I spent the next um, year pretty much trying to claw my way out of this hole. That's pretty much where I've been for the last year, is just kind of living in this hole. And about, I want to say four or five months ago, eh, probably less than that, four months ago, I want to say about four months ago, um, I started looking back into music that I hadn't listened to since I was, you know, in high school. And um, one band that has always kind of stuck with me my whole life has been Cradle of Filth. For me, they were really the first band of that type that I ever heard of right when I was awakening as a vampire. So they very much are connected to me in that way. And, you know, in my high school days, like my early 20s, like I've seen them live probably four or five times and I've met them probably about three times. And it was always such a spiritual experience for me. Like I fed so heavily from the crowd and I just felt so amazing during their shows that, you know, I, I kind of forgot about it. You know, I spent the next, or the last few years either not listening to music at all because I was so, you know, craving silence because my life is very chaotic. My life is very loud. You know, I, I do a lot of entertainment stuff, a lot of parties, like a lot of people around all the time. So when I'm driving in the car by myself, I'm just enjoying the silence. And so I kind of stopped listening to music, you know? And the only music I was listening to was either the music at the events that I would host or the music at the strip club that I work at. So it was pretty much like stripper music and industrial and things like that. And I love all that music, like that's all fun, but 
it had been so long since I listened to music that spoke to me, that like made me feel something. And I had been, you know, I've been talking to Logan and my therapist and like everyone around me and like kind of joking about, oh, haha, ha, like, you know, last year I lost my soul. And while I was, you know, joking about that, like it really does feel like that. It really has felt like that the last year where I just, there's nothing here, you know? And so feeling that again, finally, and finally feeling something after listening to this band that I had listened to in so many years and being like, holy crap, like this is, you know, this is where I've been. This is what I, you know, what brought me to life when I was 15, 16, 17, 18 through my early twenties. And it's still doing the same thing today. I will be seeing Cradle of Filth tomorrow. They are coming to San Antonio, which is about an hour and 45 minutes from here. And um, I've been looking forward to this show for probably like the last three or four months. Um, ever since I saw that they were coming and ever since I decided I was gonna go. Uh, and this time I decided I'm going to go ahead and do VIP passes. And I decided I wanted to do something a little, um, a little more, uh, something a little, um, more than just like meeting and you know getting autographs and stuff so this band has been the main band that has kind of like stood the test of time and like followed me since my awakening so i decided that in addition to you know going to the show and getting vip um while i'm a vip i wanted to ask danny the lead singer if he would autograph uh, somewhere on my body and then once I leave the show I was gonna go and get it tattooed but then of course my anxiety brain started going crazy and I started thinking oh crap like am I able to vlog like this meet and greet like I don't think I'm able I'm gonna be able to vlog like we just we go in we get our autographs we take a picture we leave I'm like crap I really want to be able to vlog this I had to track down the tour manager on Instagram found the tour manager message the tour manager and I was like Hey, here's the story. This is what I want to do. And he was actually really nice. Um, he was like, I have no problem with it, but obviously I have to ask Danny. Like he is the guy, he's the boss. I still have no idea. I haven't heard back from him. It is like 3.30 in the morning on Sunday night. Tomorrow's the concert. I have to be up at noon to get ready. We're leaving out at two, me and a couple friends, and we have to be there before five. So I have no idea. I'm going to have to message him tomorrow and pray cross my fingers that they're gonna say yes you can vlog let's do this um, I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm really excited I'm really nervous I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow I don't even know if I'm gonna break my camera I'm gonna try and vlog with this camera which is my best camera for most of the day and then once the concert gets started because we're in the pit like we're in it we are in the craziness I'm probably gonna take this camera back to my car and then just vlog the concert with my phone. It's gonna be bad quality and bad sound, but I don't wanna risk losing a $600 camera to a, to, to a mosh pit. So I'm gonna go to bed, try to get some sleep, try to relax, try not to have an anxiety attack about if I'm gonna be able to film or if they're gonna hate me if I do it. <sighs> Overthinking. So I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's do this thing. Good morning, guys. It is like 11 in the morning. I didn't sleep, like, at all. <laughs> I got into bed and I could not calm myself down. Like, I was so excited and I was thinking about everything and obsessing and wondering if I was gonna be able to film and just, yeah, no sleep happened. So I think there was maybe like two or hours where I passed out for a little bit and dreamed about the show. <laughs> that was it. So, yeah, didn't sleep at all, very tired, but when I woke up, I had a message on my phone. I'm so excited. We are good to go, guys. We are good to film. I'm just so excited right now. So yeah, I'm gonna get up and start getting ready because I know I'm gonna sleep anymore. And I think everyone's getting here right before two, so I'm so excited. Let's do this.
All right, I'm gonna make sure I have everything and get ready to head out. See you guys in a minute. Tova getting loves. Big baby, oh. I'm, I'm videoing. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's so big when you do that. <laughs> so you got Chelsea. You got. Are you? Do you prefer Katrina or Cat? I never. I just Cat. Yeah, because I have another cat. That so it's it's right, weird right. to like. And there's Bethany. Hi. Yes. Oh, All right. Oh, um, You're gonna need to get your keys back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here are my keys. Can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Uh -huh. Hey. How's it going? Oh, you know, just pulling up my tank. <laughs> well, your big truck. Yeah. What else you got to go with this big truck? I I love you walking into the gas station like. This is either a really good idea or a really horrible idea. Right now. Gas station vlogging. Snack. 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 <laughs> I have no idea if that's working. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Uh, everything's hard. Vlogging's hard. The content. That's when like I pull content. out my phone. <laughs> there, he, there he is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're off. We're heading right. off again. We're in my trunk. Want trunk it. is popped. Downtown San Antonio is stressful. All right, so, wait, does anyone remember where we're going? No. Straight. Straight, right there? Okay. The sun is hot. I don't know, do I? I think we should. I have to poop. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, and Sue. Okay. Look how tan I am. <laughs> Look how red I am. <laughs> like, this is. This, I'm telling you guys, the sun makes me paler. Like, I'm paler in the sun. I am freaking out. Everyone's got their caffeine. Caffeine. And a good one. caffeine. And a banana. I missed the banana, though. I didn't get to film the banana. Here, in line. Yes, in line. These bitches are gonna go to a bar and drink till the door's open. It's gonna be drunk by the time the show even starts. I'm freaking. I'm nervous. I just want it to be smooth and I want the video to look smooth. I have to, okay, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, we're going in and made friends. Hello, friends. Because my actual lady friends left. <laughs> yeah. I'll switch you right here then. Yeah. Alright, so we are in the meet and greet area. Look at the merch. I met this beautiful woman. Hello, beautiful woman. And the bar, just in case anybody wants to get drunk. These amazing yeah. drinks that are probably not. I'm at the front of the line, so they don't hold anything up. Hey, there you are. I was like, I was like, like the line's fairly long for the meet and greet. <laughs> that is. Yeah. I really don't want to hold up the line. I'm scared. Maybe I should get to the back of the line. <laughs> Laughing at my face. Hi, nice to meet you. Can you um find me right here? I'm getting this tattooed after this. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Where's this here? Uh, just like underneath. It's like right here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on a vlog on how uh, music helps depression. Try that one. So that's what yep. we're doing. Yeah. Do you guys have fun at the Alamo? Yes. That was good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for helping me out with this like, thing. It's really great to see you. I was freaking I'm like they're not gonna let me do it no it's totally fine but well, you guys look amazing did you have fun at the Alamo oh, we went, uh, awesome daily 
nice to meet you. Um, not my first time at Universal Studios, but my first time at the Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. It's never, I, I, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Nice. Hi. Daily, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, you guys. We did it. <laughs> I got it. There it is. All right, I got um, my merch. I got some underwear and some leggings and a t-shirt. And now I'm taking all of my crap back to my car because there's no way I'm walking around in the pit with this purse. <gasps> that was awesome though. I got the tattoo thing ready to go. Super excited. Oh, there's a walk sign. All right, see you guys in a minute. I am finally eating something. Stopped at a pizza place because I haven't eaten yet because my anxiety has been so bad over this whole thing and I've been so excited that my stomach's just been like a mess. So I haven't actually eaten yet. So I'm grabbing something to eat, grabbing some water, hydrating, and then I'm heading back to the venue. So okay. Jello shots. Yum. I made it back obviously. Jello shots! <laughs> Woo! I can't get it out. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta finger it first. <laughs> yeah, swish it around. Get it in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> I have a lot of problems. <laughs> That's okay. We love you, problems and all. Chelsea just yelled really loudly about anal. What sex? <laughs> and there goes my demonetization on YouTube. <laughs> Goodbye, money. <laughs> Did you guys want to get some yeah, shirts? Yeah, I think I do. I'll go with you just so I can say okay. hi to the cute let's, merch guy again. <laughs> what are you doing? You uh, weird uh, little garden gnome. <laughs> garage gnome. Garage gnome. <laughs> well, everyone decided that we were just gonna do this in a cradle of <laughs> underwear. We're just fun. They can't say anything if there's more than two of us doing it. I'm sure they can. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous! I can't do that, by the way! <laughs> Another shot. Wait, wait, wait. See? Go They're back, everywhere. go back! One more, one more! No one random more. photo! No random photo! Oh. As My family doesn't approve! <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we are waiting for Cradle to come on right now. Like, there's the stage. So we're pretty close. Hurry. 
I'm having a fee I'm having feels. Yes. I'm feeling this. Oh, you have to that's what she's feeling. We're gonna go pee now. <laughs> All right. Good night. Yeah, no, not, my night's not over, y'all. I gotta go oh, that's right. get Jump this it. tattooed yeah. on me. My throat hurts. <laughs> we are at Wendy's. I have no pants. Me neither. No, I, no I pants. Don't know, I, I'm not wearing pants. No. Yeah, our pants. I have, I have pants, but my throat hurts. Yeah. There Thankfully, um, at the uh, nice security at the Aztec Theater helps me locate my pants because I dropped them in the pit and there they are there they are they're very moist but yes we're going to chomp down on some wendy's we're so excited and about then going to make the drive back to austin and then i'm heading to dre's to die right here oh, right now it's gonna hurt at least he didn't make it too big like his signature is usually very large so he was, he was careful he was careful i appreciate i appreciate his gentle <laughs> his gentle hand his gentle touch his gentle touch was very much appreciated so we just got to Dre's. I have Kat with me and she's going to help me film and I'm so nervous. This is going to hurt like a bitch. Oh, and it's windy and I still have no pants. Hey. There you go. What you doing? I have no pants. Some of it got rubbed off, but I brought this just in case. Because that's his signature and I'm going to put something on here. So I don't know if you'll be able to... Okay. Yeah. Look, I got boobs on my thingy. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> There's bunnies. Bunnies. Hey guys, so it is the next next day, I guess. It's actually like five in the morning right now. I have been asleep all day since I got back. So I just kinda wanted to recap a little bit because I was way too tired to do it last night. And I also have like no makeup on, my hair is a mess, and I'm not wearing a bra, but whatever. Um, my voice is also a little off, but not as bad as I thought it would be. So the first item that I got was this signed set list and the set list was really um it was a really good set um i was really impressed with how they were able to mix all the new stuff and the old stuff as well so that was really awesome i also have this really nice signed glossy print um i may get this framed i'm not usually much of a poster band poster hanger person but um i do really like this a lot so maybe i'll hang it up somewhere um, we also got these cool little pins, really nice. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those either, but I like them. As you guys will see in the photos, I did get some Cradle of Filth underwear. It's Cradle of Filth on the butt. Actually, we wore these at the show. Like we went into the bathroom, changed into these, and that is what we wore. So we were the crazy chicks in their underwear moshing. <laughs> it was great. Um, and then I got these really cute uh, Cruelty and the Beast leggings. Um, it's got Elizabeth Bathory on them. So those are pretty cute. Um, and then they had the best shirt selection I think I've ever seen at any of their shows. Um, but I'm kind of regretting a not getting a couple because I thought they were really pretty. Uh, but they had this limited edition shirt. And I don't know if you guys have heard or seen, you probably have if you are any a fan of Cradle of Filth at all. Um, but they had a, um, they have its shirt and I'm not going to say what it says because of risk of demonetization, but it says, uh, Jesus is a C word. 
on the back and on the front it has um, an, a very uh, interesting photo to go along with that um, and uh, that shirt has given, gotten them a lot of press and a lot of publicity and I think that was probably the plan. Um, so they came out with this new shirt and I actually think it's really funny um, because I'm gonna actually hold it up and cover the the word but it's it's a picture of Jesus. I don't even know if I'm covering it correctly. It's a picture of Jesus and it says Danny filth is the C word. So it's kind of like Jesus saying it back to Danny, like you called this to me, so I'm gonna call it back to you, which I think is really cute. And then it says that on the back. So yes, it's a really cute shirt. So um, that's all I got as far as like merch stuff. And then obviously my Danny filth signature tattoo, which hurts like a bitch today. Um, I thought it was gonna hurt a lot worse when I got it done. Everyone's always like, this area is supposed to be horrible. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised that it really didn't hurt that bad. So uh, the show itself was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm actually, I was, I was, I enjoyed it so much. I'm actually considering going to the Dallas show. I'm supposed to have therapy that day. So I may reschedule. I feel like a cradle full show is it's about the same thing as therapy for me. But yeah, meeting the new ma band members was great. Everyone was really nice. Um, I couldn't have done this video without the tour manager, Steve. Um, he was the one that kind of like helped me uh, f figure out if I could film and the best ways to film. Um, Lindsay, their keyboardist and amazing vocalist, um, also helped me out a lot. They're all so nice. Danny's always been very nice and um, the whole band was really great. But yeah, I'm, I may go to Dallas. I probably won't vlog uh, the Dallas show just because I kind of want to be able to go to a show where I don't have to worry about filming. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's really important to find something that helps you with whatever issues you're dealing with. Find what works for you. Find what makes your soul come alive because that's what I did. And turns out the thing that was missing in my life is this band that's been in my life all along. I just had to kind of rediscover it. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, put all this merch on and see what I look like decked out in Cradle of Filth gear. All right, you guys, I'm officially decked out in all of my Cradle of Filth gear. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a passion project for me. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, click the little bell notification so you know when my videos are gonna be uploaded next. As soon as I get this editing thing down, I'm probably gonna do uh, videos pretty regularly, um, vlogs and product reviews, couple of fun things. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching and cue photo montage. <laughs>